Okay, ladies, I want to show you something today. Um, I would like to share with you that I did this video already, but I watched it and I'm bored myself. <laughs> so I'd like to try and do this a lot faster. And the only problem I had was that I am sharing with you an idea that belongs to someone else and I can't remember her name. And I'm not showing you how to make it, but I'm showing you how I kind of put a spin on what she made. So I'm going to put um, uh, her name, or I, I know if I put her name on my tag, it'll link it to her tutorial. So I will try to do that ASAP. Okay, so what she, and I'm subscribed to her, so I'm sorry, honey. I should know your name. I just forgot it. So, um... This is what she showed. She just put this video out like the day before yesterday, maybe even yesterday. It is a tag album made by a 12 by 12 paper, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And it has two ribbons that come out like that and they tie around the front. So you untie it and you put your tags in it and it fits in there really cute. My daughter made this one. She even crumbled it and distressed it. She picked all the colors. <laughs> so I think she used like every color I had. <laughs> but yeah, so it goes like that. And there's this little flap right here. And this is where the ribbon comes out. Okay. Now for the sake of boring you, because the other took me quite a long time to explain that on the last video I just made. I was trying to find a way to have it stand up. Kind of like this so it has like that because I wanted to put my tags on my dresser and so I was looking at it couldn't figure out a way then I realized that that ribbon that you use to tie around it to keep it closed let's see oops oh yeah I have quite a lot of stuff in there. So it ties around the front like that. La -dee -da, let's pretend I tied it. There we go. It's tied right there. Okay, so I untie it and I punched a hole at each end that matches up together when you do this with it. So this is all made out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Then I took the ribbon from inside here that was used to wrap it around and I put it through this hole and then I put this one through this hole I'm doing this kind of backwards guys so. okay so then I pull it tight not too tight because it's paper but then I tie a knot to one of the sides because I don't want to put a lot of pressure. I didn't put any eyelets. You could put eyelets. I just threw this together, so I didn't really have time. So then you tie the ribbon right here, and your little tag album stands up on its own. And you can put it, like, on your dresser or whatever. You can even put, like, the, oh, let's see, two, four six, eight, you can put the days of the week and then like an extra little card, I don't know. And then you could turn it. <laughs> Either way, I just wanted to have it on my dresser. So I did that and I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'm gonna show you my tags really quick. But I am asking for somebody to do a tutorial or explain to me, even on my comments down there, exactly how you're getting the fiber on your tags. I know it's simple and you probably just wrap it around the brad or something, but mine seems to look funny every time I do it. Maybe there's a trick to it. So somebody could explain to me how they're doing that. Because as of now, I only have flowers and my Prima flower, um, like, stock is really ridiculously dwindling so I barely have any colors I want but I ordered some they're not prima but I hear they're pretty cute so okay I'm gonna show you my tags really quick because I like them 
because my stamps are pretty. But, okay, here we go. This is two cherubs. And this would be really cute for Valentine's Day. I didn't even think of that. And it's really cute. It has these numbers right there. Okay, so that's one. And this is my favorite. Look at the little vintage ladies. They're so cute. That This stamp was 99 cents. I don't know how stamps can be made. Like, look at the shadow on the ground. It's so intricate. It's awesome. To be able to have, like, that intricate of an image. This one says, Mood Du Jour. And it says the power of a girl, but that got cut off at the bottom. She's pretty. She's got a lot of thoughts going on. Oh, <laughs> right here it says, oh, don't mind me. I'm just trying on moods. And I have ink all over my hands. That's what happens when you create. You get ink all over your hands. Okay, this um, stamp I really do love. And I just trust these all, um, obviously... Um, with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. But I don't have that tool, so I used a cotton ball and my craft mat, and it worked out pretty good. I just needed to make sure that my cotton ball was pretty dry when I was doing it. Okay, so I really like this stamp, but I do not like Mount Rushmore behind it. But I do like the script and the Eiffel Tower. It's pretty, it's intricate. And this was a 99 stamp too, stamp stamp. Okay, and these were the stamps that came in that Michael's dollar bin. Okay, where am I? And I used this one. The little birdie. I, I distressed these. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and... Last but not least, this is the two stamps that came together in the kit. Or that little container. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. And I'm going to try and find her right now as I'm putting this up. I am so glad that I didn't post that last video because it was almost 10 minutes and it was boring me. And I would hate to bore you guys. So I will talk to you guys later. And thank you for sharing your ideas with me. And I love seeing everything you guys make. And this is going to be a great year. And we're going to make a bunch of things. And we're going to have fun. So I'll talk to you girls later. Bye.